Hey everyone, this is Scott Nichols with Sick Boat Creative Studios. Today I'm gonna to walk you through the Dirty Letter Boxes pack, the cinematic aspect ratio mats in 8K. Super excited about this. It's one of the only packs out there in this high of resolution, and it's really gonna allow you to future-proof your projects. I'm gonna walk you through the folder structure as soon as you download it, and then we're gonna jump into Premiere Pro. I'm gonna walk you through some of the basics of the blending modes and a few editing quick tips that you can use on your end, regardless of whether you're in Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut. All of these principles apply no matter the system that you're using. So let's go ahead and jump in. As always, if you're new here, consider subscribing and join the community. Leave a like, it helps us out big time with the YouTube algorithm and comment below what you would like to see next. Let's go ahead and dive in. So when you download the pack and unzip it, it's gonna come with PNG overlays and Apple ProRes 422 motion video clips. And these are essentially mirrored folders to give you full flexibility and control over the look that you'd like. It comes with 11 of the most popular cinematic aspect ratio mats. Everything from 1.33, which is a four by three square, which is you know standard eight millimeter, standard definition. You get everything from 1.66 on up to basically 2.37 is the kind of standard cinematic look. And then you have some ultra wide screens like the 2.40, 2.44, and the 3.5 aspect ratio mats and then you get some bonus clips as well, both on the PNG side and the ProRes 422 video files. And then within each one, you're gonna get the bonus film perforations as well. Um, so we're gonna have eight millimeter film perforation. So let's check that one out real quick, just to give you a little taste. So you're gonna have the film gate on the left-hand side. You're gonna have a nice subtle little shake and some dirt around the edges with rounded corners. We have three eight millimeter film perforations, a 16 millimeter film perf, and two super 16 millimeter film perfs. And just to show you, double click on those and show you what those are. So you got 16 millimeter where the film perfs are top and bottom of the frame. You got your 16, which is really cool because you have, you have those three over scanned frames. And the 16 millimeter dirty and then the eight millimeter film perf. This is a full, so you have just the gate on the left and then you have your standard dirty and dirtiest eight millimeter film perfs. And then you have a bonus folder as well where you get a bunch of grain, some film burns, a punch hole transition, a tape splice, and just some additional film artifacts in the bonus folder as well. So let's go ahead and show you how we can just easily create a film look here. We're gonna use our ProRes 422 video clips for this example. Basically here in my timeline, I have the rough cut of the trailer without any of the overlays and film effects added on top of it. And I'm just gonna show you here how easy it is to create that film look from your footage. So without any of the effects on it, let's go ahead and use the four by three. The four by three, we've given you multiple different options. This is one of the more robust folders. Let's go ahead and just use the standard four by three. We're gonna drag and drop that on top. Please note these files are in eight K, so most likely gonna be larger than the size of your sequence. So just scale it down 50% if you're operating in a 4K. And here we go, it's all scaled down. And then you go over here to your opacity, your blending mode, and from normal, just go to multiply. And we instantly get that dirty four by three cinematic aspect ratio mat on top of your video footage. It's really that simple. That's gonna get you the most basic look with a few clicks. Next, I'm gonna show you this little quick tip, just an easy way to edit a little bit faster and view the three different options that you have per cinematic aspect ratio mat. So on this aerial shot of New York, I'm gonna to go to our 1.85 ratio mat and I'm gonna drag the clean, the dirty, and the dirtiest. I'm just gonna stack these on top of each other. Once again, make sure that they are fit to comp width and you have your blending mode to multiply. I'm gonna do that for each one of these. And now we have our three kind of variable options that we can cycle through quickly to determine what type of look we want to go with. And so we got our dirtiest option here. We got 
the dirty and a clean mat. I like the way that clean looks, so I'm gonna keep that. So I'm gonna go ahead and deactivate the other two clips. All right, and I'm gonna show you one last example with a little kind of secret editing trick at the end to really give your video projects that film look. We have this shot of the big wave surfer. We're gonna use the 1.9 film mat. Drag and drop, trim it up, set to comp width, and change to multiply. All right, and then let's go up to our bonus folder and grab some of our bonus film grain, drag it on top, and then click your blending mode and go to hard light. And you're gonna get these beautiful kind of white speckles, some of the dirt in the frame. Just add that texture. And then let's also grab one of our tape splices. You can kind of use that as a transition between the two. And let's use a film burn as well. There we go. So how you arrange them is fully up to you. That's what's beautiful about this pack is you can kind of stack and layer these however you'd like and just change the blending modes and get whatever desired look uh, you're going for. We have a film punch transition here that we can use. Finesse it just slightly, make sure everything's kind of lined up and clean. And let's try a hard light. Yeah, I like hard light. Let's do that one can just as easily duplicate this. If you wanna extend, you wanna have the film burn. Again, you can kind of copy and paste that stuff and really add those looks. There we go. Awesome, yeah, really feeling that. And so here, let me show you a quick little secret to really kind of mimic that film look a little more. It's called red halation. And in film, you'll see typically the whites have this slight red tint to it. And it's because of the way that the cameras are built with the red, green, blue spectrum coming into the lens and bouncing the light around in the camera. And so basically what you can do is you can duplicate your original video clip. And then what you wanna do is go to your effects panel and you type in channel blur. You drag it on that top video clip and then from your channel blur, click on red blurriness and crank it up to anywhere between like 40 and 50. Let's do 50, see how this looks. And then you want to set your blending mode on that to lighten. And that will give you this really subtle kind of red tint along the whites. Let's go ahead and show you what this will look like before and after. Got that tape splice. Yeah, that looks really cool with that film burn. The grain and the transition, love that. So this is really kind of the, the poor man's secret to getting that beautiful film look on any of your video projects. If you're looking for a more complete film texture bundle for video, we have our CineVision pack, which is the full film textures pack of eight millimeter, 16 millimeter, and 35 millimeter film textures for video. You're gonna get this pack, the dirty letter boxes, plus so many more other film artifacts, film grains, film burns, punch hole transitions, light leaks, and more. Thanks again for watching. As always, if you're new here, please consider subscribing and join the community. Leave a like, it helps us out big time with the YouTube algorithm and comment below what you would like to see next. So have fun with this guys. Thanks so much for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.